Hey everyone, this is Corinne Lafon, your favorite radio host, your only radio host and favorite girl, of course, broadcasting to you from the lovely island of Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean on Between the Lines. And you know I start my show off every time with gratitude. And let me start off by saying I'm so grateful. It's raining, it's pouring. So if you hear a little shh, it's not me, it's the rain. And I don't have the powers yet to control the rain. When I do, I might be able to do something about it. But for now, oh my God, it's coming heavier. I am so <laughs> thankful that it's raining to keep the place cool, green, rich, nourishing, flourishing, and just calm and peaceful. I love it. And I'm thankful to be here to experience it. I have with me today Tahani Nelson. Let me tell you what we're talking about today. Female leads and women warriors. Let me repeat that. Female leads and women warriors. And I'll tell you a bit about Tahani. So Tahani Nelson is an author and English teacher in Billings, Montana. Her military fantasy series, the Fawi, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Fawi. Say that to me. Fai Yi. Fai. I was close. I was close. You were very close. Yes. Fai Chronicles focuses on strong female protagonists and the fallout of war. So welcome to Hani to Between the Lines. Hi, I'm so glad to be here. Yeah. What is it about strong female feminine characters to you? What is it about that? Are you on a, a mission with female power? bringing back what do you call that that again when in the times when women were seeking uh, equality what is it about bringing out the, the the feminine strength at this point in time what are you really trying to communicate or, or probably even to empower women that they are powerful and there's so much within them i don't know it could be a combination of all those you tell me it is definitely a combination of all of those. I grew up loving fantasy stories. I loved reading fantasy, but every woman I found in most of the fantasies I read growing up were either damsels in distress or a love interest, or maybe they had like three lines of dialogue or were just wearing bikini mail. And none of them resonated with me. None of them were the, the type of woman I wanted to be or the type of woman I wanted to read about. And so I wanted to create all of the female warriors that the next generation can aspire to be and have something more than what we've pre or previously had represented in fantasy. And so I created the Fai Chronicles. Oh, nice. And Fai means what? Fai just means warrior. The, the problem with English is it's relatively patriarchal. If you had just I said the word warrior, most people think of men first and female second. So we end up using words like women warriors or female warriors. But because I created a matriarchal society, the concept of a female warrior is redundant in this world. All warriors are female. So I created a language that represents that idea that if you hear the word fai, you think of a female warrior first and a male warrior second. Oh, nice. You know, as you were talking and you said female warriors, it took me back to that movie. Uh, the, the, you know which movie I'm going to say. Tell me which movie I'm going to say. Are you going to say Wonder Woman? No, but I love Wonder Woman. <laughs> I love Wonder Woman. She's my female, best, best female character of all time. Right? So, I love her too. No, no, no. Um, it's not that, but she's good. She's good and still beautiful. Linda Carter, the original Wonder Woman, can I tell you? Oh my word. Yes, but it's not that. There's a movie, there was this black movie where it created with, with female warriors. It was totally Wakanda. You know, it, Black the, Panther. What was the name of it? Black Panther? Yes. I yes. love Black Panther. Okay, so my first book, The Last Fight, has a, a, a black female protagonist and uh, it came out two years before Black Panther came out and so many people asked me if those two things were related and they were not it was just a, a, a wonderful coincidence but oh my goodness I love that movie so much I'm telling you and you realize that the king the the, the main character he was surrounded by females who were the warriors 
that really resonated. I mean, I, I think even all that changed the concept or, or how should I say, light of fire, illuminated women and the perspective, you know, and the strength of women. My word, I can't even remember there were male fighters fighting, protecting the kingdom. I can't remember any, any men fighting in that movie. Right, but Okoye, the, the main female warrior, oh my goodness, she's amazing and yes. brought so much forward in the concept yes. of female warriors in cinema. I am so happy about that movie. I loved it so much. I'm telling you, it reminds me, I probably should watch it again tonight. I think so, I think so. But this is good. But, you know, given, given the environment that we are in, do you find, because you said you have read books that really didn't resonate with you because you're like, oh, save me, save me. You know, I'm on the train track, save me. You know, wave the handkerchief, save me kind of thing. <laughs> you know, it's always the, the damsel in distress. And it's true, save me. How, you know, in this environment, 2020, moving forward, because we're soon... We're on the neck of, of 2021. What would you want to say to women moving into 2021, we're in the 21st century, about their strength, about their honor, about their spirituality? Because we don't want to continue being the damsel in distress. Because we know between both of us, Tahani, I mean, and this is just between us, nobody's going to know, just between us, that... <laughs> That we know we are the stronger species. We, we know this. Oh, absolutely. We, we know this. Don't tell the men no. We, we, we know this. You know. And I think, honestly, they know. But it has been programmed that they are supposed to be the strongest. Because they are men. And I guess they have muscles. I, I, I don't know. I, where did that come from, first to begin? I don't even know where that originally came from. We, women, we have created life and held the concept of society and the concept of life since the beginning of time. Yeah. There is absolutely nothing out there that we cannot do. And then when you have a group of women together, we're absolutely unstoppable. And history has continually shown that the parts that got written down, but because history is predominantly written down by men, yeah. we don't know exactly how often it's been a woman that's changed the tides of everything. Yeah. And so women that are out there, whatever you're doing in life, remember that you are absolutely the hero of your own story and you do not need somebody to save you. And it is okay to ask for a sword instead of a glass slipper because that's going to be the better story in the long run. I love it, honey. Ask for a sword instead of the glass slipper. <laughs> sorry, Cinderella. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but I love the idea of a sword. I love the idea. And it doesn't mean we're not saying that we're out to fight every time, that, that we're out to attack. It doesn't mean that. It's just, it's a symbol of strength. It's a symbol of strength, you know? The sword. Absolutely. But if we are to fight, we are so ready. Sword in hand, no glass slipper. Sword in hand. So this is, this is, <laughs> this is really, really crucial, you know, because... I don't want persons to go away with the impression that we are here to take over a man's job or to compete with a man or even to compete woman against woman because that's another thing too. We women tend to compete against each other as opposed to work with each other towards a greater goal, towards a bigger vision. So I don't want people to think that we are having this conversation to... Um, create a mutiny or, or, or any <laughs> such thing of women, you know, rise up women to go against the men or to go against each other or to take over the world, even though we know we already took it over. It's not about that. It is really about recognizing your worth and your value and knowing that and there is strength. Yeah. That's absolutely correct as well. I have a wonderful husband. I could not have done half of the things I've done in my life without him, we, we strengthen each other. Men and women strengthen each other more than anything else. And instead of seeing it as fighting against each other, I think we need to see it as fighting alongside each other and the world will be a much more powerful place. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Tahani. And for the young girls that are coming up, what are three things that you would say to them as an author, as somebody who is creating these characters? What would you say to them? 
I think the first thing that you need to know is whatever it is you want to do in the world, you are capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be a wonderful mother, then you can do that. If you decide you don't want to be a mother, you can do that. It's up to you where you want to drive your story. Mm -hmm. Second, I would say don't forget about the people that are around you. None of us are in this alone. There are wonderful people in your life who are going to support you. Don't forget about them and don't be afraid to turn towards them. And the last thing I would say is it is okay if you don't know yourself yet. Life is so much about learning about yourself and you're going to learn something new every every day and every year and that is okay. You're not going to be the same person a year from now as you are now. And that's good because constant growth is incredibly important. Those are three fabulous tips. Three fabulous tips for the young girl listening, which is me. So, <laughs> Tahani, you, you're older now. You're more mature. You're married. What would you have said to your younger self right now? Let's say you were talking to your younger self now. What is the one thing? Of all these years that you have been around up to this day, what would be the one thing you would say to young Tahani? I would say that it's better to take the time to do something right than to try to rush through it. You have more time than you think you have, Tahani. Mm -hmm. It's it's going to be okay if it takes you a year to do something, if it's worthwhile, or if it takes you two years or ten years. If you do something correctly, take all the time it needs because you're going to want to build on that foundation for the rest of your life. Oh, that's a fabulous piece of advice for young Tahani. And not only young Tahani, the many Tahanis out there who will be listening. Because you said something so important. Uh, you said it's okay. And that's, that's a word that we need to acknowledge and accept. It's okay. I find a lot of us put pressure on ourselves, Tahani, to accomplish something that really doesn't make us happy uh you know and even if it does it's a temporary spurt of happiness it it it, it, it doesn't last and you're still searching for the next thing and we are hard on ourselves and to what end to what end you know who, why are we trying to prove who we are and to whom why and there's such a, a stigma that you have to have so much done by the time you're 20 yeah. but like after 20 you're old or whatever yeah. it is and that's completely incorrect it's okay if you're still finding yourself when you're 20 you don't yeah. have to find the perfect spouse or the perfect career or the perfect hobby or anything by the time you're 20 if you found your car keys and you're 20 years old that's enough for that day sometimes yeah. and that's okay yeah yeah it's okay it's okay it's okay. And you know, when you say that a few times, you're like, yeah, it's okay. It will be okay. <laughs> I, I can fail. I can do something over. I can start over. I, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to hop across to your website and spend some time there because when I was looking at it, I was like, wow, we need to spend some time on Tahani's website. It's, it's a lot going on over there, people. Let me, just, let me just warn you. So let me see if I can switch to your website here. Yay, here we are. And switch live Tahani a bit. First to begin, Tahani, the, the book covers are compelling. Compelling, can I tell you? Oh, thank you. I love it. Sword in hand. It, it, it sort of reminds me of, um, what do you call this movie? Lord of the Rings, you know? I don't know if you saw that. With, You know, it has that kind of look. Ready and, you know, just able. She's quite competent, assured of herself. She's focused. She's driven. She knows who she is. You know, you can see all of that in her. Yeah? You can tell I watch a lot of these movies, okay? <laughs> that's, that's good. There's... It, there's always something wonderful if your fantasy novel gets compared to the ultimate fantasy series of the Lord of the Rings. That's right. That's right. Do, you know, when I look at your books, Sahani, I see movies coming out of them. Honestly, you, you have a series going on. And I, if it hasn't happened yet, I can tell you I can see it happening. Has anybody ever approached you about that? 
I, a lot of the reviews I have on Amazon say that, that it would make a great movie, but so far no one has ever approached me. But the movie rights are available if anybody mm. wants those. Yes, please put in that plug. <laughs> please put in that plug. And have you ever approached uh, screenwriters or even companies that would be doing that type of thing or maybe interested? Honestly, I haven't yet, just because I'm I'm slowly learning the basics of marketing and promoting in general. It took me a while to learn how to write first. Mm -hmm. And then after I learned how to write, I learned how to edit. Mm -hmm. And then after I learned how to edit, I learned how to typeset. And now <laughs> we're taking steps by step. And if, if a movie is in the future somewhere, I would love to see that. But for right now, we're just focusing one day at a time because it's okay if not it's everything okay. is figured out immediately. <laughs> it's okay. And this one is the Wakanda. There she is. Yep. Yeah. That, <laughs> yep, that's the last fight. It did come out two years before the Black Panther movies did. And I do often get questions on whether or not they are related. They are not. It's just a wonderful, happy coincidence that they happened to come. Yeah. And these real people, the are these real people in the images or these are stock images that you use? These are stock images that mm -hmm. I purchased because I use what what i have yeah of course but they are stunning they are oh, stunning you. they are stunning i i want to go back here they are stunning i love it i absolutely love it and you have some other books here as well yep uh both of the books there in the middle escape and deception are anthologies which means mm -hmm. that it's a bunch of short stories by different authors mm -hmm. however if you want to just read my short stories then the books on either side honeysuckle sky and the fire of ashwood mm -hmm. are the short stories that are in those anthologies that you can buy standalone if you prefer oh a snake is coming out his mouth snake tongue mm -hmm. yep deception every story in that is about some sort of lie or some sort of deception and so it was a it was a really good cover for the <laughs> anthology Yes, it's very interesting. I, as I said, it's compelling, quite compelling. Yeah, so let me go back up here. What is there that you would like me to feature on your site? Anything in particular that you would want me to showcase? If you are a fan of audiobooks, mm -hmm. uh, there in the middle it says Indie Audiobook Awards. Last year I got to go to the Indie Audiobook Awards for The Last Fight, mm -hmm. and it was such an amazing experience. I had obviously never put in out a book before and definitely hadn't put out an audiobook before. So to be nominated for that award was just such an amazing experience. And so if you do like audiobooks, uh, The Last Fai is on Audible and it's one credit. Nice. And I absolutely think that you should check it out. Yay. This is lovely and congratulations for that. You, Thank just, you. you just never know. You just never know. And let's go to about Tahani. You can learn a little bit more about her here. What are you doing? What, what, <laughs> so I, I write military fantasy. I always, with women wearing swords and, or carrying swords and wearing armor. And so I, dress in armor for almost all of my events. I almost wore armor for this today, but it's actually hard <laughs> to wear my headset at the same time, so I decided not to. But that's, that's I'm most comfortable in outfits like this. I feel exactly. strong and powerful. That's my husband who's there next to me, who also makes me feel powerful and strong. Well, he and, looks it and he's ready to chop something, it looks like. <laughs> oh, that's lovely, that's lovely. Yeah, I like that. And you will promote So if you ever come books. see me in the real world at a book signing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we will surely recognize you, um, Tahani, without a <laughs> doubt. We will surely recognize you. We will not pass you at all. <laughs> and if persons were to contact you, they can do so here. Yeah. yeah. Yep. If you uh, fill out this form here on the contact section, you'll be part of my mailing list. And so you can get emails about anything that's new that's happening. I recently did my mailing list for my new book launch. Hopefully soon I'll have more information about the audiobook that should be coming out later this year. Nice. So yeah, contact me and I'd be happy to go through any of that with you. 
Yep, and let's see what's new. Anything new here? Oh, well, this one is new. Yep, Fire Betrayer came out on Tuesday. I'm very, very excited about it. What? So. What's Tuesday? You mean like Tuesday coming up Tuesday? Nope, it came out last Tuesday, so it's now available. Oh, you, you no, frightened it's been me. Out for five days. You frightened me there a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is nice. And do you have a, um, a what do you call that now? A trailer for, uh, for the new book, for this book coming out? I do not have a trailer for Faye Betrayer. Mm -hmm. I do have one online for the last Faye, but mm -hmm. I haven't made one for Faye Betrayer because I was so focused on everything else. Oh yeah, not a problem, but it's okay, Tahani. It's <laughs> okay. This is great. So persons can get this uh, paperback, ebook, and yeah, Kindle format on Amazon. Is it only there? Can they, I think I saw you could purchase here as well. Could you? Yep, you no, can purchase, purchase on Amazon. Yeah, purchase on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yep, but if you go to TahaniNelson.com and click on any of the books you want to look at, it will automatically take you to Amazon's link. So mm -hmm. okay. it should be easier to find. And let me see what's happening with that merchandise. Is that your little shop that's going on? Ooh, I do merch. have some Fai merchandise. And it's I didn't expect it to take off as much as it did, but a lot of people like having the last fight on a shirt or a a booklet uh the tote bag of the bottom screen sells the most so oh yeah, yeah. right yeah. it's a it's a nice tote bag it's it's large it fits a bunch of books in it uh kaya there on the front looks amazing so that's oh, like yeah. one of my one of my favorite things <laughs> it is beautiful it's stunning i always love conversation pieces you know things that you walk around and people are like, hey, where did you get that from? I love that. Is that you? Is that whoever? You know, that is nice. It looks like a Wakanda piece. And then you can start saying, no, no, I know the art of the book. And <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So I do offer some merchandise. I don't have anything for Fire Betrayer yet, but it should be up later this week as soon as it finishes going through Redbubble. Oh, lovely, lovely. And she almost looked like the girl in the, on the cover. <laughs> This is awesome. Yeah, a lot of people tend to do merch as well, you know, because especially if it's doing well, yeah, you can also repurpose and, and how should we say that, diversify the income that way as well. That's good. Absolutely. And I love Absolutely. this. The throw pillow is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, and they're very comfortable. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's very, very nice. I love the bag. Yeah. I, I really like that bag as well. I usually carry my tote bag around instead of a purse because it's just more comfortable and yeah it's and it's my book on it and it could, of course you know women you know we see things we're passing on the road and we're like hey we need to get that and shove it in the bag yeah mm -hmm. that is pretty pretty cool so let's come back here to home lovely so tahani any final words for the listening audience If you like military fantasy and you didn't even, you might not even know what military fantasy is, but I assure you that this is a series that you didn't know you were waiting for, especially if I have any young female readers listening right now. It's time that we retire the ideas of damsels in distress and bikini mail and <laughs> all of these tropes that we've had for years. We are so much better than that. So this is a series I think you've been waiting for. Yeah, use your body for good. Don't use your body to be like selling for sex. And even water is sexy these days, honey. Water is sexy. My <laughs> word. Water, imagine. Water is a sexy thing. Thank you so much for bringing back value to women. You know, purpose, empowerment, self-worth. Letting us know what is within us. Uh, especially, you know, we already have the year in and we have another half or a little less than a half going and before you know it we're in 2021 and we really want to empower the young minds of young girls women teenagers you know that that Absolutely. sort of yeah that that sort of vulnerable year and you know people always think that that's vulnerable time but we are all vulnerable as women we are all vulnerable and even in our vulnerability is strength so don't think that vulnerability means weakness in that vulnerability is strength Thank you so much to Hani Nelson for sharing your work. I wish for you and pray for you that you get that contract. <laughs> so, yes. 
Thank yes. you so much for having me on. Yes, I want you to have that contract. I want you to have that movie and just just message me. I just want a small part in the movie. That's all. Just a small <laughs> part is all I ask. Thank you. So I, much. I'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to Hani Nelson for being on Between the Lines. Thank you.